17,000 participants from 140 countries. Oh, sorry, that was three years ago. St. Petersburg International Economic Forum opened its doors to participants. Among them, delegations from Syria, Belarus, Taliban, that was previously declared a terrorist organization in Russia. The invited country this time – Egypt. The opening wasn't grand. Some hackers blacked out the scene, so everyone was waiting for Putin in the dark for an hour. Quite symbolic. When at last Putin started talking, there was no need for light. The news was terrible. The world is coming to an end, but Russia is ready to save it. Те, кто не захотел услышать этот очевидный посыл, потеряли на Западе сотни миллионов, если не миллиарды долларов. To prove that, they provided a traditional opening ceremony with cannon firing. This time the one to shoot was a terrorist leader of self-proclaimed pro-Russian Donetsk People's Republic, Denis Pushilin. That was the first shot this year with participation of Pushilin and Putin, where no one was hurt. The main topic of this outstanding international event – the economy under sanctions. But still hard to understand what exactly will be presented. How to outsmart the sanctions waving nuclear bomb over your head or how not to get into trouble using Russian experience. Anyway, Putin's speech was neither new or shocking. He once again said that import substitution will save them, their weapons have no analogs, and that Russian tourism will be saved by tourists to Siberia. С каждым годом все больше туристов стремится посетить красивейшие природные места нашей страны, национальные парки, заказники, заповедники. По оценке в текущем году такой турпоток превысит 12 миллионов человек. During his speech, Putin several times made excuses about the war in Ukraine, which made the International Economic Forum even more grotesque. Мы здесь совершенно ни при чем. Сами натворили дел. Цены взлетели до небес. И их счет виновных опять. He also added that the future Russian families should have more children. Two or three.